This pro boxer steps into the glory ropes for the first time tonight here in Houston. Here comes Stephanie Skinner. While the Muay Thai and kickboxing world is on the Becca hype train, Stephanie Skinner is not one of them, Joe. She says, listen, she's a kid, she's been fighting kids, and I'm gonna expose her with my experience tonight. Yeah, that's her plan, and her, her nickname is The Scrapper, and if she's gonna beat Irwin, she's gotta bring that scrappy style. She's gotta get inside that long range of Irwin, so she's gotta go in and fight her hard out. He says, I've been fighting kids, I've been fighting adults, not kids, for a long time. 18-year-olds aren't in the NFL, they're not in the NHL, they're not ready for the big league yet. And neither is Becca Irwin. Her inability to find opponents forced this young world Muay Thai champion to travel to Thailand to compete. Tonight, she comes home to Houston. Here is Rebecca Irwin. What a moment for this young fighter, Joe. She's traveled the world. As Tim mentioned, she's been to Thailand, been to China, but she's never been able to fight here in Houston as a pro until tonight. Yeah, and she gets the big stage to do it, and she's tall, she's technical, and watch out for her high kicks. And she's not only wanting wins, she's calling knockouts, so that's the type of style and fight we want to see from Rebecca Irwin. Here's our tale of the tape for the Super Bantam Weight Showdown at 122 pounds. Rebecca Irwin, the youngest fighter ever signed to a glory contract, born November 24th, 2000. She's five inches taller and will have a three inch reach advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for three three minute rounds in the Super Bantam Weight Women's Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. She's an 11-fight MMA veteran who will be making her kickboxing and glory debut. At 5 feet 3 inches tall, 1.65 meters, she weighed in at fight time at an even 119 pounds, 54 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Westminster, Colorado. Introducing Stephanie the Scrapper Skinner. Here now is her opponent fighting out of the white corner, the only American male or female to become a three-time IFMA gold medalist. As a professional, four wins, two losses, one win by knockout. At five feet, eight inches tall, 1.73 meters, she too weighed in at an even 119 pounds and even 54 kilograms. She is the fighting pride of Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Rebecca Irwin. All right, guys, you've already been over the rules, right? Give me a clean, fair fight, protect yourself at all times, and always obey my commands, okay? Touch gloves and go back to your corner. You can feel the buzz. Becca Irwin, glory debut. Standing in her way, the scrapper, Stephanie Skinner, who's wearing the black gloves. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. You can already see what a massive size disparity we have here. Yep, that's why the scrapper needs to get inside, try to let her hands go. Stephanie Skinner is 1-0 in pro boxing, has MMA experience. Yeah, fought for Invicta. Yep, where Becca Irwin, all kickboxing, all Muay Thai. How does Stephanie pull off the upset here? Well, it's coming inside, pressuring, trying to hit the body, get inside, throw some overhands. But the scary thing about a good Muay Thai fighter is they got good knees, so that's why Irwin's gonna use good front kicks, round kicks, Ooh. and good knees. And Joe, we, we showed you earlier Irwin knocking out some of her amateur opponents wearing shin pads and headgear. How hard is that to do? It's really hard, but with good timing and, and good power in that head kick, man, anything's happened. But there's that body kick, that's where she's gonna probably level change. We always show arm reach, Joe. 
But look at the leg reach. Look how long Becca's yeah. legs are. And especially she knows how to use them. That's why she throw <laughs> a lot of good teeps. That's a song, isn't it? She's got legs and she knows how to use them. ZZ Top. It's going to make it difficult for Skinner to get inside. Just missing with that spinning back fist was Rebecca Irwin. There's an overhand right from Stephanie. Not a lot behind it. Yeah, she's got a level change. Hit the body, then go upstairs. Being the shorter fighter, you got to mix your levels. Skinner using angles could be a good strategy for her. Muay Thai fighters like to kind of stay in front of you. Well, Irwin predicted a second round knockout. <laughs> Stephanie has to be careful to, to avoid those big knees on the yep, inside. Yeah, walking in. But you can hear Skinner's corner telling her, you got to get her against the ropes and then let the hands go. Very patient is Irwin. Yeah. She rips her cake, but off the arm of Stephanie Skinner. There's that forward pressure. Did, she, did Irwin tag her? Oh, good ending. Yeah, Irwin liked that. So nice finish there for Stephanie. And yeah, there wasn't really too many significant strikes in that round. But Irwin doing well, staying long. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she's still a high school senior, a three-time youth gold medalist at the IMFA. As Tim mentioned, no man or woman from America has ever done that. Her opponent, Stephanie Skinner, the scrapper. As we mentioned, she's got experience in different martial arts. She has boxing and MMA. She has a, a fight with Invicta. And outside the ring, she's loving her music. Disney soundtracks. Her and Todd, I think, had a sing yeah. with your daughter. I've got three daughters under the age of eight. I know every princess song possible. What was the one you're trying to teach me, Shark? Baby Shark. Baby Shark, okay. Do, 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 do. Looks like Ready? Stephanie's Round suffering two. from some sort of discomfort there in the corner, was whispering to her corner, which usually means Oh, there's some sort of injury that she doesn't want anyone to know about. Maybe yeah, I'm wrong. She just, just ate a knee, but you see the, the brace on her knee. Maybe it's some knees giving issues, but adrenaline. She's got to keep coming forward. She can't wait too long. Ooh, Irwin's starting to open up. Good distance, front kicks, making it difficult for Skinner to get inside. Front kicks and knees. Irwin's signature is the high Ooh. kick. <laughs> and she just landed one there. It was almost like a, a knee, a round knee to the head. Ooh. Ooh. Nicely blocked, though, by Skinner, and she lands a right hand herself. Yeah, but the way Irwin's throwing it, even in her highlights, she throws it, that high kick, as she's moving backwards. So her opponents think it's safe to move forward, and then all of a sudden, Irwin's boom, throws that head kick. She, she was calling for a second round finish. We asked Becca what she needed to work on. She said, I need to fight better going forward. I, I tend to fight better going backwards right now, but now she's coming forward. A couple of knees and a high kick. Yeah, she's starting to get more comfortable. She needed that first round to just feel the audience, feel the hometown, but now she's mixing everything well. She's got good boxing and knees. And she doesn't even look like she's breathing hard, Joe. No, I don't think you can get tired at 18. <laughs> oh, there's that high kick. It's coming. Well, Stephanie's done a pretty good job, honestly, blocking those. Yeah, she's still coming forward, but she needs to try to get in there and throw, but dangerous. 
Or if I'm Skinner, try not to throw from the center. She's got to press her back with her defense first and then let her hands go. This way, Irwin can't get that high kick. So right there, if I'm Skinner, I'm pressing forward. Now I'm unloading when her back's against the ropes. Good range control from Irwin. Even though Skinner's throwing those looping punches, they're, they're missing by almost a foot. Oh, I think it's yeah, Skinner's something's knee. Bothering, yeah. Something's bothering Stephanie. But she's still coming forward. She's the scrapper after all. Oh, she did eat that high kick, but she's still coming forward. Couple of knees, right hand, and another one. Stephanie covered up, eats a knee to the solar plexus, and now Becca Irwin is unloading. She's got five seconds, can she get the finish? No, she, she took her foot off the gas pedal, but Skinner's nose is bleeding now. A lot of good scoring from Irwin, and there she just missed the knee, but look at those high kicks. She's just throwing them as she's moving back, good timing with them, and she just mixes them so well. There's the knee, boom, masks it with the high kick, but good job for Stephanie to, to block those kicks and keep coming forward. And here's a nice little fury, uh, uh, fury we saw at the end. Skinner still trying to come forward, trying to pressure, but here's Irwin mixing up her punches. She's got a lot of power in that right hand. And she mixes her knees right behind that. Good little combination and ending for Rebecca Irwin. And Joe, yes, Stephanie knows that high kick is coming. She's gotten her gloves up to block it, but it's still doing some damage. Make sure and visit Glory Shop and use the code GLORY63, a 15% discount off of everything available. All new gear right now, GloryShop.com. Three minutes to go. Becca Irwin, Stephanie Skinner. Spinning back fist, just miss. Oh, good knee. Another knee there, and a right hand. But the scrapper isn't stopping. She's continuing to pressure, trying to use that ring control. She knows her ticket's going to be that overhand right. Oh, oh, she landed a left hook. She did land a left hook, but Irwin took it well. Yeah, now she's even mixing in her low kicks. I think Irwin's going to respect that now. That was maybe the one shot Skinner needed. Blood continues to pour out of Skinner's nose. And a good tip for Skinner is not to just throw a single. If she's going to work in and take a shot coming inside, she might as well do work while she's there. So how, how's Irwin going to handle an opponent that doesn't go away like Stephanie Skinner? Skinner still trying to find a way inside. Yep, maybe use a feint. But there she goes. When you're inside, put those punches together. Hometown coming alive for Irwin. Oh, that knee is coming so close. And then a high kick. Irwin would love to get a KO in her first glory appearance but Skinner will not make it easy. Skinner trying to use the Superman punch to close distance. Irwin has been Training in Thailand for the last two years off and on. Finally get to fight in America in her hometown. So far, so good. She wants the knockout. Stephanie Skinner not making it easy. Trying to get inside to land that right hand. Yep, she comes from a good coach and Michael Chase Corley, who has a lot of experience in kickboxing and Muay Thai. So he's training her really well. Maybe a little fatigue now for Irwin. 20 seconds left. 
You know, a lot of people think the five round in Muay Thai is tough, but you got to remember in Muay Thai it's a little slower paced. They take the first two rounds really slow where Stephanie Skinner's bringing the fight. Well, she doesn't get the knockout, but surely she gets the win. An impressive debut for Becca Irwin in her hometown of Houston. The official decision. When we return, you're watching Lori's Super Fight Series on UFC Fight Pass. Saturday, March 9th, Glory 64 Super Fight Series. Another knockout victory! Oh, you beat This is a street fight, ladies and gentlemen. Glory 64 Super Fight Series, Saturday, March 9th. Check date and time in your area. Don't miss it. All right, we're back. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights from that fight. And a lot of them came from Rebecca Irwin. She really used her length really well. You saw a lot of good front kicks, some knees, but Stephanie Skinner just continued to press forward. She really tried to use her ring control to keep Irwin against the ropes, but Rebecca Irwin made it difficult with those knees and her distance control. And the way she throws those exit high kicks is just brutal. And that's the way she gets most of her knockouts. But Skinner showed a lot of toughness to be able to take those knees and still try to bring the fight. But good combinations and good mixing from Becca Irwin. We saw good boxing from her, her ability to mix her knees, and then she mixes in some good high kicks. So a lot of good promise coming from a Muay Thai background, especially being here with the endurance. But that was the one good shot we saw Stephanie Skinner getting. She got inside, landed a good left hook. It seemed like Irwin may have faded a little bit, but still with a dominant decision, in my opinion. Looking at the stats, you can see a lot of good damage came from Becca, Ir Becca Irwin's knees as Skinner was trying to close that distance. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. All three of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same. 30-27, a unanimous decision, all for your winner, Rebecca Irwin! <laughs> Rebecca, congratulations on your win. Obviously, your, your fans and friends showed up, made a lot of noise here tonight. How do you feel after your debut in glory? I feel great, you know, there's definitely stuff I need to work on, but I'll take this as a solid win. Go from here. How would you grade your performance? Uh, good. Not what I wanted it to be, but it was definitely good. How many more fights do you think you need before you start challenging some, some girls in the top ten? Two or three, maybe. Maybe two. And what's your message to everyone here that showed up tonight to see a fight in your hometown? Uh, thank y'all for coming out. Thank you for the support. Love y'all. Rebecca Irwin, everybody! There you have it, the win, the, your winner, Rebecca Irwin. Even with all that hype, she was able to get that win and very modest in, in, her, in her speech, saying that she still has some work to do. But overall, a good win for her. But coming up later, we have the middleweights. 